Today we're in San Joaquin County doing a bird survey, a pre-construction survey for the South Delta Temporary Barriers Project. There are three agricultural rock barriers um, that are installed every spring and taken out in the fall every year. Um, they are to help improve water levels in the South Delta for agricultural um, users so that farmers can continue to pump water and to irrigate their crops. And this is an area where there's just a lot of birds nesting, like the, all the farm fields around here are where the birds forage. The trees along the levees where the work's happening is where the birds nest. The nesting season for uh, red-tailed hawks tends to be like March through um, July, August. Um, Swainson's hawks show up a little later, they're migratory. They um, come from Mexico, Central America, and South America um, in like mid to late March. So they are showing up after the red-tailed hawks have already established nest sites. The Swainson's hawks will come in and establish their nests and the female will sit there low on the nest. Um, that female is likely incubating eggs based on how low she's sitting and not moving around. And the last uh, couple times we've, we've done surveys, she's been in the same spot. So there's a good chance she's sitting on eggs right now. This red-tailed hawk nest, uh, this pair has used this nest tree for the last two years. Um, this pair um, ha looks like it has one chick in the nest. Uh, the female is the uh, one that typically tends the nest and the male will come bring her food um, and kind of help out um, throughout the season. They stay paired up throughout, throughout the nesting season. Hawks are an important part of the ecosystem. They're uh, predators. They will, especially red-tailed hawks and Swainson's hawks, will eat uh, voles, mice. They seem to be well adapted to the agricultural environment um, as a species that historically nested, you know, used grasslands. Um, and throughout North America, grasslands have been really impacted by humans. Um, but the kind of agricultural practices in the Delta um, seem to support Swainson's hawks. The project permits from um, California Department of Fish and Wildlife requires that we do uh, two surveys before construction starts, one five days before and one three days before, to, um, to document the uh, locations of all um, Swainson's hawk, which is a state threatened species, and other uh, raptor nests. And the purpose of that is to know their locations, to get a sense of what their normal behavior would be, so that when the construction starts, um, we can set up measures to avoid impacts. Pre-construction surveys and uh, construction monitoring are essential to DWR construction projects such as this because they ensure the project can take place and be constructed successfully while minimizing and avoiding our impacts to the environment. Mm -hmm.